Hello friends, this is Bhupati. Previous video we saw how to create test case and how to create data driven test case. In this video we will see how can we publish our test case to orchestrator. These are the four available options in orchestrator for test cases. Under testing tab you can see test cases, test sets, test execution and test schedule. Now we will see how can we publish our test case to orchestrator. Friends, first the setting is after logging into your automation cloud, just make sure that your testing bot is enabled. You can see the testing bot is enabled and the licenses you can show. Uh, you can see here it is displaying as one. By default it is zero, but you need to enable your testing bot. Then only you can run your testing bot from the orchestrator. Just click on the license tab and enable your testing bot next next thing is just go to your automation test project right click on the test case you created and click on set as publishable then only you will be able to publish this particular test case to orchestrator after this click on publish your test case will be published once published, go to the orchestrator and click on packages tab. You can see your test automation project is published. So it is displaying under packages tab and also it will display under the test cases tab. Next thing is you need to create process for your automation test project. Just give the package name and then version automatically it will come you just select a version environment you make sure you create environment on map your bot to the particular environment here i have created acme test cases as environment and i have mapped my bot to this environment now click on create now go to the test sets give your name for your test set so in our case, our bot is going to search invoice number and uh, finds whether the invoice number exists or not. I am giving the name as search invoice number. Environment is Acme test cases. After selecting the environment, you just list down the what all the projects available. This is our uh, test automation project that is Acme test automation. Now you just select this project. After selecting this project, you can see available test cases under this project. We created two test cases in our test automation project, correct? Search invoice number and invoice number data driven test cases. Both these test cases visible under our project. You can select the test set you wish to execute here. I'm just selecting search invoice number and click on create. Now my test set is created. Okay. After my test set is created, you can execute your test case by clicking on this play button. Once if you click on this button, your bot will start running. In test execution, it will update the result is passed or failed based on the verify control operator you used in the then sequence. Test schedule, friends, test, test schedule is more like a robot schedule, how we schedule robot, uh, whether if you want to run every hour or daily or every minute, you can schedule as per your wish in the test schedule. Now we will see how to publish a test case from the, from our test automation project practically. So it will be easily understandable. Friends, this is our test automation project and name is Acme Test Automation. This is a project we created in the previous video to show the demonstration of how to create test cases and execute them. Now, this is our test case search invoice number. We are going to publish this test case to orchestrator. Before that, let me show what actually this test case do. It searches the invoice number in Acme application and sets the output to boolean variable and we are verifying the boolean value. Okay. For example, I am giving the input as 23232. This invoice number actually does not exist in Acme application. So the boolean variable is set to false here. 
search in voice.xml you can see the boolean value will return as false and we are verifying the same if the boolean value is false in the then sequence we then we are considering test case is passed otherwise failed okay now i am going to set as publishable right click and click on set as publishable okay now click on publish now our test case is getting published okay it is published uh, version is ending with 607 now let us go to the orchestrator you can see i will just refresh you can see acme test automation is visible under the packages previously it was not there now i will go to the test cases now our package is here that is uh, we are able to test, uh, see the test cases available in our test automation project test set there is nothing here because we have not created any test set i have deleted everything i created earlier and test execution also i deleted there is no result here okay now what is the next step we'll go to the process and click on add acme test automation this is our test automation project so i will select Acme test automation version got automatically selected environment I have already created an environment called test case and mapped my robot I will click on create now we have created a process for our test automation project environment you can see here robots environment here I have created environment called test case and mapped my robot to the test case you can see okay now we created a process next th thing is test set we we'll just click the test case name is search invoice number select environment what is the environment we selected we created test case now you can see the projects test automation projects available I will select Acme test automation. I will click on next. You can see the available test cases under the or test uh, Acme test automation project. Now you can select the preferred test case you wish to execute. Now we will execute search invoice number test case. I will click on search invoice number. Click on create. Now our test set is ready. Okay. Now we will execute this for the let me go to Acme application. Okay. Now I will execute. Yes. So it will just type in the invoice number 23232 and updates the result in the test execution. Oh, okay. I forgot to change one more setting, friends. That is, we need to change the license to setting board, uh, testing board. Okay. So it is you can see it is still in pending it will not execute because we didn't change the license now we'll go to robot um, one more minute i'll go to robot edit type unattended i'll make it as testing i'll click on update Now I will be able to execute this test set. Okay. You can see our bot started running. Now it will input the number 23232 and update the execution as passed. Because we are verifying the boolean value is false in the then sequence. It is executed successfully friends also remember if you change the testing robot you will not be able to edit anything in the studio whatever the xaml file you open it will be in read only mode so you again change it back to your previous license what it was set earlier whether attended or unattended okay 
if it is in testing robot license you only be able to view the your xaml files you will not be able to edit Now we will go to the test execution. See it is showing as passed. Okay. Because we are verifying the boolean value to be false. For example, now I will change this to another thing. 563737. Let us publish again. Now we will update the status as failed because 563737 actually exists in the acme application invoice you can see 563737 it exists okay but we are verifying the boolean value as false here we are collecting the boolean value here actually it will return true but we are verifying false now i will run again the test case Go to the test set. I'll execute. Now it will input the number 563737 invoice number and update the result. Okay, it is there. So Boolean value will return true, but we are verifying if the Boolean value with false. You can see. This search invoice number is failed. Okay. Test schedule. You can schedule that is uh, uh, when you want the part to be executed. That is every one minute or every hour. You can set any time. Just give any name. Test case. Execution. Schedule. You can select the test set. So our test set is search invoice number. If I want to run every two hour, you can just select every two hour and click on add. Now you can see it is enabled under the test schedule section. In 30 minutes, our bot will start run. Okay friends, this is how you can publish your test case to orchestrator and execute the same. If you like this video, please subscribe and support our channel and share this to your friends. Thank you.